You know, uh, I join millions of Nigerians to applaud President Tinubu on this initiative. Uh, it was a step higher than what President, former President uh, Buhari tried to do mm -hmm. with Executive Order 10 in 2020 when he initiated that because it was paint that there wasn't any governance going on at the third tier of government. So he issued the executive order 10. Uh, but it was challenged by the governors. Again, the governors believe that uh, the president overreached himself. And the Supreme Court agreed with them and struck out executive order 10. But you see, there are two layers of challenges. Uh, mm. with this judgment. Uh, financial autonomy, yes, but what is the quality of people being recruited into the local government? You cannot isolate the State Independent Electoral Commission from what may be the ripple effect of managing the funds of local government. Now, you would, um, just last month, uh, I, I think uh, the Forum of State Independent Electoral Commission uh, came to Abuja to meet with uh, Chairman of INEC, uh, Professor Mahmoud uh, Yakubu, and, and he said they need to improve the quality of elections that mm -hmm. they organize at that local government. Not many people are inspired by the quality of elections because they there is no financial autonomy for state independent electoral commissions. In fact, I recall that part of the Justice Muhammad Lawa Ways Committee's report was for SIEC to be scrapped and integrated into INEC. But the governors resisted under uh, former uh, President Umaru Musa and said, no, that would be antithetical to federalism. You cannot have everything centralized. Just like now we are clamoring for state police and people are, people are having reservation about having state police uh, given the antecedent of what happened in, during the regional period in the, six, in the First Republic. So what is the, since the, the, the gentleman's agreement that was reached with former President Umaru Musa Yadwa was that the kind of reform that the president was having for INEC was going to be replicated at the 36 states. But it never happened. Now, for the benefit of those who are watching us, since 2011, INEC has been on first line charge of Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation because it now receives its funding directly as, as a first line charge. So just like the judiciary, like uh, every other agency and institutions that receive, including National Assembly. In fact, it was at that 20, 2010 uh, constitutional alteration that granted National Assembly financial autonomy, that also granted INEC financial autonomy. And that's why we saw the quality of elections improving. And now, go to state independent electoral commission. Every governor comes and dissolves whatever sec the meet on ground, irrespective of the fact that they have a guaranteed tenure of five years. So you dissolve them, you recruit people who will do your bidding, then you make them to announce dates for elections. The election results are more or less not reflecting the will of the people. Because we have 19 political parties in Nigeria. Why is it that the parties at the state, the party that controls the state structure, brings every position in the state in an election conducted by state independent electoral commission so in ns what, what you're saying is as a support to this judgment six should be scrapped no six should be guaranteed financial autonomy as so well that, as so, well no yes, yes because because that's what has made INEC to perform did you know how much we spent okay. on the last general elections okay. How many, how many state governors are ready? I mean, I, I listened to Professor Charles Soludo yesterday. He said in the history of Anambra State, they've only had the election to local government twice. Twice in the in 25 years. Okay, so, so, but let me land on this thought, yes. uh, Claire. Mm -hmm. the, last, the last point, and the, what this, this is 
this is what this judgment of yesterday has also raised. Funding of LCDAs. How will it happen? Uh, the states have created, many states yeah. have created LCDs. And what they simply do with Jack account as specified in section 162 sub 6 of the constitution is that when they receive this money into the pool, they redistribute it. But so but, 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 LCD, but LCDAs have not been constitutionally recognized. Yes, that, that's yes, what so, I'm so, saying. They are not constitutionally recognized. Yes, but the Supreme Court did not say that states cannot create LCD. Yes, they only said that for them to receive funding, there must be consequential alteration of the constitution. And that has not happened for 37 LCDAs in Lagos since 2001. That was what led to the face of between the president now, when he was governor, and former president. Did they, did they 